नमस्ते नमस्ते वी हैव टुडे दिरु शाजी विद अस ही इज डायरेक्टर एंड ट्रेजरर ऑफ वेव्स इट्स अ प्लेजर टू हैव दिरु शाजी एट वर्ल्ड हिंदू न्यूज विश्व हिंदू समाचार टॉप टॉप हिंदू शो दिरु शाजी वेलकम फॉर बीइंग वर्ल्ड हिंदू न्यूज एंड एट दिस वेव्स 2014 कॉन्फ्रेंस at uh, marshi university it's a pleasure to talk to you about the waves program but uh, before just to start i would like to have some introduction about you uh, to our worldwide audience thank you for having me here uh, my name is diru shah uh, i was born and brought up in india uh, did my early university education at the University of Baroda. I went to London School of Economics, and from there came back to India. Worked as a professional uh, executive. Went to Harvard Business School. Came back again to India, and then went to the Middle East. And from Middle East, I came to the United States and started my own business in the world trade. Uh, besides my own educational background, my business experience i have been very much interested in uh, the basic philosophy history the traditions of dharma vedic dharma and uh, the ancient traditions of india and culture and i have devoted considerable period of my time uh, to research uh, the various aspects of the vedic traditions also i have learned a lot about the various other religions which are called abrahamic religions and i tried to compare them and educate a lot of people in the united states i have also opened a, a organization called india awareness foundation which i am president there and uh, every year we organize several seminars uh, several talks from various people about issues related to india so uh that is what basically i am thank you dirusha ji for introduction and my first question to you is uh, of course uh, what is waves and uh, what are the goals and mission of waves uh waves is a world association for vedic studies uh this concept was uh, brought up uh, in 1996 when uh, we people living in the united states realized that uh, the western academia uh, has been uh, distorting and denigrating hindu civilization the vedic civilization uh, has been uh, also distorting the indian history and uh, there was a need for the indian or hindu americans to come up and respond to that type of activities so that the whole association for vedic studies was formed this was a basically an academic organization i am though i am not an academic but since i have been interested in that so i have been opted into that uh, organization and uh, our objective has been that uh the indian civilization which dates back to maybe 6 7000 bc uh, it has produced uh, and contributed a lot to the world civilization in terms of uh, medicine architecture in terms of uh, various other disciplines uh, ayurveda yoga and all of that unfortunately the western world or the world in itself has uh, not realized or given any credit to this contribution that indian uh, civilization has made so the that with that concept we decided to have this uh, uh, world association of vedic studies established in the united states with a having a chapter in india too and uh, basic objective has been is to organize conferences every two years worldwide uh, where the various scholars from world over from india from nepal uh, from ceylon from uh, europe uh, from latin america from united states canada they come here at a one particular uh, conference place there are about 200 to 300 people are there uh there about 100 papers are read on various particular subjects various disciplines of vedic dharma 
and uh, these deliberations uh, eventually result into some kind of a proceedings which are published and distributed. Uh, our objective has been basically is that this Vedic knowledge which is so ancient and which is so desirable for the world to live in a peace that uh, it should percolate down to the mainstream society in India as well as in the world. And uh, currently what we have been doing is that uh, publishing these books uh, through also we have our own website uh, and uh, uh, in, in India uh, the branch that is that uh, World Association for Vedic Studies is also WAVES. Uh, they, are organ they also organize regular seminars throughout all the cities in India. And uh, as a result, we find that there is a lot of intellectual uh, rising within the Hindu community in India, among the academic people, and uh, we see it's a, it's a, it has a very beneficial effect on overall educational system in India. Our main objective today would be is to uh, make sure that uh, the new government uh, would also look into this possibility that whatever the policies, economic, social policies that are being followed, they have some concept of Vedic nature where uh, Vedas have talked in terms of, uh, you know, uh, every aspect of life. And uh, those aspects of life must be covered within Indian uh, Indian policy that whatever the government of India decides. Uh, the Indian government should also take into consideration the education part of it, that uh, Sanskrit is a very important part of the knowledge that we have gathered. All our Vedic scriptures are in Sanskrit, and unfortunately, during the last 50 to 60 years, Sanskrit has been delegated completely. There is no reason why Sanskrit cannot be revived because all our Vedic literature is in Sanskrit and it is very important that the Sanskrit is being taught in every school and university. Thank you, Dhirushaji. That, that was a very uh, insightful and thoughtful uh, uh, goal and mission summary for the WAVES uh, programmation. Uh, my next question to you is uh, how much impact uh, WAVES uh, Previous all the previous conferences of waves that uh, were able to uh, make for the what are the mission and goals we have waves to uh, integrate the Vedic uh, culture and uh, roots with the current contemporary Hindu society. Uh, first of all, I think the today wave is the only I say only Hindu academic organization in the world, and the American. Academia also recognizes that here is an academic organization which can cope up and which can face the American academia which is trying to distort and discred discredit the Vedic terminology, the Vedic history. So against that, Veda, uh, the waves have done a pretty good job. And uh, in India also, the similar concept has been sort of through the conferences, through the publications, through the seminars, uh, it has made a tremendous impact, at least as far as the educated and uh, academic people are concerned. So we believe that in years to come, if, uh, if we have enough resources available, we could sort of bring this knowledge, this uh, spiritual knowledge, as well as the practical knowledge to the overall general society of the people. Uh, and for that, we need support from all concerned. We need uh, support from the government institutions. We need support from the big donors. And uh, so we could publish a lot of uh, articles. We can publish a lot of journals, which are useful in reviving the Vedic traditions. Thank you, Diru Shahji. and. Uh we have we are here at Maharishi University that's uh, been established by Swami Maharishi, and uh, we have wave 2014 conference uh, at this Fairfield Iowa Maharishi University. Uh, what are the key uh, key highlights of this uh, wave 2014 conference? Uh, uh, every time when we have a waves conference, we decide about the next conference that we are going to have. 
So in 2012, our conference was at Dartmouth, uh, Massachusetts University, and we were looking at the possibilities where we could have our 2014 conference. And we were sort of uh, invited by the MUM, which is the Maharshi University of Management, uh, to come to uh, Fairfield, Iowa, and uh, have a look at what they can offer. Uh, as a result, in 2013, uh, I, with uh, our president, visited uh, Fairfield, Iowa. Uh, we, we discussed uh, with the MUM University uh, management what they can offer to us in terms of uh, organizing and hosting uh, the next, that is 2014 conference. We are very happy to tell you that uh, MUM has done a fantastic job in uh, making this particular conference a great success. I think it is probably one of the best conferences that we ever held. And a uh, lot of uh, credit must go to the MUM people. Uh, we have this time about more than 100 papers have been discussed on this. And the theme has been Vedic living in a modern world. This is the uh, subject. And on this, there are 100 papers have been read uh, and is still being read. Uh, that comes from the staff of the MUM University, people, the academics from India, academics from Europe, and uh, academics from uh, various other parts of the world who have come here. And uh, they are talking about how we can use the Vedic knowledge to live a world in a world where there is a peaceful, which is uh, people, all people in the world can be happy. And the, it has come to our conclusion that uh, what the Maharshi, Swami Maharshi has given to this town and to this world, that can be replicated in other parts of the world also. And uh, that message that must be come out from this conference to the people of India, particularly, that there is a way to make everyone happy, uh, to live a peaceful life that uh, without having to go through turmoil, going through violence, uh, with hatred, and in, instead of that, what the concept that Maharshi has suggested, if that was to be followed, probably I think India could become a really a, a conqueror in terms of having peace in a spiritual way. So I think uh, this 2014 conference we have a, this is a phenomenal success. Um, every uh, plenary discussion that we have had so far, there are more than three to few, 350 to 400 people attend that. And the entire town of Fairfield has come here to watch what waves can offer. So to that extent, I think this 2014 conference has been a great success. Thank you, Dirusha Ji, for that. And uh, my uh, one more question is uh, how people can integrate and join waves, uh, especially the youth, the young people, and also the intellectual academicians. What is what is what are the channels to join waves and empower waves program? Uh, any institution, particularly when it is a voluntary organization, it has its own limitations, and our limitations, of course, are two. One is manpower, that's human resources. Second is the financial power, that money. Uh, and as you know that without funds, without money, things cannot be organized, things cannot be done. So uh, we are requesting people all over the world, particularly India and Hindus, that in order to empower us, in order to make it a successful for us, please donate as much as you can. And we have absolutely a transparent system to show that whatever the funds that come, where they are used. So you can become a member. Annual membership is only $50. If you become a life member, it is $500. And uh, the idea behind that, once you become a life member, whenever there are conferences, we offer you a concessional rate for registration. Uh, we offer you also uh, in terms of books or the proceedings at a much lower discounted prices. And uh, besides that, uh, it gives you a great feeling that uh, you are trying to help us in making Vedic life a success, reviving the Vedic values and 
trying to show to the world that what India has to offer in terms of spirituality, in terms of peace, in terms of dynamism, in terms of cosmic energy, all that can come if people were to join us. So we like to have a lot of young people to join us. Come and join us, help us. In, we need help in every direction. We need people for uh, you know, maintaining websites. We need people to write articles for us. We need to have prepared journals. We want to have a regular monthly newsletters. For all that, we need people, human resources, and we need funds. So uh, we have a website, which is uh, World uh, Association uh, for Vedic Studies at uh, uh, .net. Uh, one can go into it. And uh, anyone who is interested, he can contact me. Uh, my uh, telephone number is 770-664. 8779 and uh, my email is crm at com. I'll spell it out S I A R A M at com. So you can always approach me, I'm available to you, and uh, we sincerely hope that uh, you take this message very seriously. And uh, please join us, please help us that, so that we can keep this organization moving and growing. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dhiru Shaji, for. Uh uh, bringing awareness and updating our audience about the WAVES conference, mission goals and the implication for uh, Hindu society for uh, you know being subject to distorted Vedic uh, content and uh, WAVES significant contribution in uh, defending Vedic uh, principles and their uh, uh, implementations. Uh, thank you so much. Namaste. Thank you. Namaste.